Hey YouTube, this is Kevin Allen 676 here with the jailbreak for the 3.1.3 .3 firmware using Red Snow. Uh, this jailbreak is for the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch. Uh, this jailbreak will not work for any iPod or iPhone 3GS, uh, iPod Touch second generation MC model, and iPod Touch third generation. Uh, this jailbreak will not work for any of those uh, devices at all. Um, if you're trying to unlock your iPhone 3G or 3GS, it will not work at all. This is only for jailbreaking purposes only. Alright, after we get all that settled out and you get your device, make sure your device is good. You want to go ahead and download Red Snow, the program to you know jailbreak your device. Uh, you want to go to the link that I have in the description for Red Snow. It'll bring you to this page here. It'll look like that. And you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And it's going to have download links. You're going to go ahead and clink, clink, click what link you want it for. Either you have Mac or uh, Windows. No, I'm running Windows right now, so I'm going to click Windows. And it'll bring up this little file here. Uh, this is a zip file, so you want to extract everything that's in this file to your desktop once you save it or whatever and after you get that to your desktop and you extracted it it should look something like this and it should say uh, red snow slash win underscore zero point nine point two alright now that you got red snow you're gonna wanna down your download the firmware and the firmware that you're gonna wanna download is the three point one point two firmware so yeah I know it sounds kinda crazy but yeah, you need to download the 3.1.2 firmware from this website that I'm going to put in the description. And it should look a little like this. And you're going to want to go down to where it says iPhone slash iPod Touch. And go in there and click the 3.1.2 firmware. Download that. This is also going to bring up a screen. And it's going to be a zip file as well. Um, we're going to change this to an IPSW file. But I'm going to show you that in just a minute. After you save this to your uh, desktop, um, it's not going to look like this at first. Uh, it's going to be like a zip file. And it's going to say iPhone blah 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 dot zip. You're going to want to change that. Some people have problems with changing it because it doesn't work sometimes. Uh, we can solve that by going to Start, Control Panel. Um, I don't have the program on here. You're going to go into Folder Options. You're going to go under view. You're going to scroll down here to where it says hide extensions for uh, known file types. You're going to uncheck that and hit apply, then OK. After that, you're going to you can X out of that and you should be able to change it now. You're going to right click, click rename, and change that where it says IPSW. You're going to change that from zip to IPSW and it should change to this. OK. Uh, my iPhone's already jailbroken, so I'm not going to read jailbreak it while it's already jailbroken. But I'm going to show you the process that you're going to take to jailbreak it. You're going to want to open up this file and click Red Snow and click redsnow.exe. This is the program to jailbreak it. And click Run. You can go and exit out this file and get it out of the way. After that, it's going to say Welcome to Red Snow and all that good stuff. And you're going to want to look for your corresponding IPSW folder, which you which is your firmware on your desktop. You're going to browse that and click desktop and it should be right here. You're going to open that and it's going to process the firmware. And after the IPSW has been successfully uh, identified, you're going to click next. And it's going to patch the kernel, whatever that means. And after that, this is the uh, screen where you install Cydia must have that click. You need Cydia at all times. Cydia is like, yeah, you need Cydia. Um, Verboost boot, I have no idea what that means. Uh, don't check that. All right. Unless you know what it means. Uh, this, these two files here um, is if you want custom boot logos uh, when your iPod boots up or whatever and custom recovery logos. Uh, if you want to go ahead and do that, you just check them and you click whatever picture you want to do it. Uh, this button down here is for if you're already jailbroken and you want to go ahead and add a custom boot logo and recovery logo. 
you can click that, but you want to have Cydia unchecked so you don't have two Cydias on your springboard. After that, you're going to go ahead and click next. At this point, you want to make sure your device is plugged in and turned off all the way, or else the jailbreak's not going to work. After you have your jailbreak off all the way, the next step is putting your iPod Touch or iPhone into DFU mode. This is a very, it's not complicated, but it's kind of, you got to do it really quickly, like as soon as the screen goes. The first thing you're, wanna go, you're gonna want to do is hold down your power button for three seconds. All right, and without releasing the power button, hold down the home button for 10 seconds. And after you do that, after 10 seconds, without releasing the home button, release the power button, but keep holding the home button for 30 seconds. After the 30 seconds, your screen's gonna go white or whatnot, and it's gonna put your phone into DFU mode. Once your phone is in DFU mode. It's gonna start downloading the um, jailbreak to your phone, and after that, you're successfully jailbroken, and you're gonna have Cydia on your. That means my phone. You're gonna have Cydia on your. Oh, sorry. You're gonna have. You're gonna have Cydia on your springboard. And that means you're successfully done, uh, jailbroken. Um, I'm gonna have more videos out on how to get customized app icons, cool backgrounds, um, how to change your uh, your board up here and whatnot. Um, yeah, and how to get cracked apps from the app store for free. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do when you're jailbroken. But that's going to be in my later videos. So I'm going to try to make some more videos here pretty soon. And I hope you like your jailbreak. Um, please make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. And hope to be seeing you in my next videos. Alright, this is Calvin Allen 676 and I'm out.